Denim tier has got to be the hottest brand on the market. There's tons of fakes getting passed around by reputable sources like StockX, mm -hmm. Go, local resale shops that don't know shit, or I would say local jokesters. <laughs> Here's a guy to make sure you don't get finessed. There's a new fake batch of these going around that just came out around December. I'll just say, like, take an OG release like the red hoodie. This one only came out in June and only came out in September. It was a four five hundred dollar hoodie, as you can see. Dropped when it uh, dropped in price when it restocked. Went back up to four five hundred. December time, January time, it's only going for fifteen dollars over retail nowadays. A hoodie that used to go for four five hundred, very desirable, is only going for fifteen dollars over retail. It's not because people don't want it no more. It's because more and more fake versions of these are getting sold on StockX and go. At first glance, these look real, real identical, but I'ma say the red one is fake, the orange one is authentic. Now let's break down what's make these two different. Look at these two top tags. They look very, very, very similar. Hardly any differences. It's crazy how good fakes are getting nowadays look almost identical there is a small difference in the made portugal and where their stitching is this one has a little further than this one but it's just crazy how good fakes are getting that's why you got to listen to this guide so you be careful on where you're purchasing so the first giveaway is on the area of the hood so the con reef goes into the hood right here no interruptions right here there's no stitching we're on the fake one we see the cotton reef go inside the hood. It gets interrupted because there's a whole stitching right here. The whole hood is stitched around. And it doesn't continue on to the inside of the hood. That is a huge difference. No stitching right here. Another thing to do with the hood. The only cotton reef that is located on the inside is one that is shown on the outside. So there's no other cotton reef going inside this hood. That's why this is the only cotton reef that is in this hood. Where on the fake variation, there's car reefs all inside of it. Nothing to do with the outside design. And funny enough, the one, like I said, that is on the outside design doesn't even connect on the inside. Another thing with the wash tag on the authentic, there's this big black line located right here. Fonts are going to be very, very similar. The main big difference is that on the fakes, it doesn't have a black line. They do come with a tiny black line but it's not as thick as this one something that is crazy with the fake variation that is just making it even harder to believe that it's fake is they come with a dover street market los angeles tag what crazy when you see a fake item coming with an actual real store tag but sorry to tell you this tag is also fake the dover street Ma uh, market tag is fake as you could tell i got authentic one right here from the same uh, part of the year autumn winter 23 autumn winter 23 as you can tell the barcode is supposed to be located on top like this there's supposed to be a dollar amount and the edges are rounded on this one where the edges are straight on this one why so different but from the same store it's because this one's just fake to throw people off so on the bottoms as well comes with the fake dover tag this is the main difference we see on it. Very, very similar as you'll see. This one's stitched on the, uh, the top as you can clearly see the stitching. Where this one's clean stitched on the bottom not showing the stitching visible to the top part. I know this is a new release, the version, uh, the third release. And this is the OG first and second release but it does not make a difference. Okay, so here I got authentic blue sweatpant. Looking at the wash tag, you see the black line. Authentic orange one. Looking at the uh, wash tag, you see the black line. And on the red one, that is fake. You see that thin black line that they try to play off as a black line. And you also notice that the stitching matches the sweatpants. It's red right here to match the red sweatpants. Where on the authentic ones, white stitching. Authentic ones, white stitching. It doesn't matter that this is blue, doesn't matter if this is blue or orange, they use white stitching. So don't get finesse buying some bullshit. Shop with confidence by simply educating yourself. This brand, Denim Tears, became the hottest brand within the last year. Just like in overnight, everyone wanted it. So tons of fakes are getting thrown into the market. Reputable places, stock eggs, goat, even your local resale shops are just passing it through. Local resale shops buying it in bulk, thinking they're just getting the hottest thing that their customers want. 
Well, no, it's all fake. Educate yourself so you don't get finesse and shop, bring it back where you know everything is guaranteed authentic. We know our shit around here and we don't play. One day later. What up guys, Sage from Bring It Back. Just wanted to give y'all a little quick update on the denim tier situation that just happened while editing this video. So the original TikTok we posted on Instagram ended up going viral, has over 200K views, and actually ended up getting reposted by Denim Tears official Instagram account and Tremaine's official Instagram account. This just goes to show you that the stuff we're talking about is real and you know the people who create the brand actually appreciate what we're doing. So if you guys ever need to buy your authentic denim tears, check out the link in the bio, check out our store, and make sure to shop a confidence with Bring It Back.